All right, radio listeners, today we are doing the third annual Walmart Is It Made in America product pool. This is your first time being a part of this. You're going to have a lot of fun, but I think it's also going to be educational. What we do is we take an adventure, someone in the field for the Conscious of Kansas Radio program, and we send them to a Walmart here in the state of Kansas. We've done this in Manhattan. We've done this in the city of Hayes. And today we are in Salina, and our man in the field is Jeremy Bone. And Jeremy, how are you doing today? Doing good, Dr. Paul. How are you? Oh, I'm doing fun, uh, fun stuff. We're going to have a lot of fun. And Jeremy has gone to the Walmart, and he has gone to a location that I have no idea where you're at. Is that correct? Yes, that is true. All right. So we haven't uh, you know, staged anything. The items that Jeremy will pull will be random. The only thing I will do is I will tell Jeremy when to stop walking and with his right or left hand to grab something. He'll tell us what aisle he is in, but we won't direct him before that. And then with the items that he pulls, he will describe what they are. But uh, I will try to guess, along with you out there in Radio Land, if this item is made in America or if it's made somewhere else. If it's made somewhere else, I will make that guess right at the time. We'll keep a tally, and uh, we'll keep up on uh, where we're at on that. So, Jeremy... Uh, you you're in, in an aisle already. Can you tell us what uh, what's the area of Walmart that you're in right now? Yes, I'm in kind of a home and office area. There's a lot of uh, swivel chairs, uh, desk, um, TV stands in the aisle that I'm in. Okay, and that kind of product. And and you have a product you have grabbed. Uh, t- describe what the product is. Okay, it is a ottoman. It's a leather, or not leather, excuse me. It's actually a little uh, light tan suede uh, fiber um, on it, and it's round. It's called a two-in-one storage ottoman. Okay. All right. I'm going to make my first guess on where this was made, Uh, this ottoman out there. I'm going to guess that this uh, this item was made in China. You are correct, Dr. Paul. Bam. Number one down. Now, it's winning sometimes is fun, and winning sometimes is a little bit sad. And so we're going to put this in the win column. We have one in China. The first of our 10 products we will pull today in our Salida, Kansas, Walmart, Is It Made in America? And, uh, Jeremy, you can take off to some other random location. And while Jeremy does that, we're going to thank one of our sponsors for the Conscious of Kansas Radio Show in the Ellis County Historical Museum. You can find them at 100 West 7th Street right there in Hayes, Kansas. You can give them a call anytime at 785-628-2624 or check them out online at elliscountyhistoricalmuseum.org. Great bunch of folks. They really make Kansas history come alive. We're getting ready to pull... Item number two, now you out there in Radio Land, were you right on that first one? Were you right on that first one? Do you think maybe that item was made here in the USA? It just didn't smell right to me. Just didn't smell right. So we're going to see what the next item is. Uh, Jeremy, have you made it to a new location within Walmart? Uh, yes, I have. All right. So Jeremy's in good shape. He's young. He's an athletic guy, so he can move pretty fast. Why don't you go ahead and stop where you're at, and with your right hand, grab an item off of the aisle and get it in your hand. Tell us when you have it. Uh, Look at it. Make sure you can find a made-in seal on there so we know where it's from. All right. I have found it. Okay. What aisle are you in right now? Well, Paul, I've made my way from the home kind of improvement aisle to the kids aisle, the toys aisle. Okay. And what item do you have? In my hand, I have a Thomas and Friends Exploring Sodor, or Sodor, InnoTab, looks to appear to be a children's game. A children's game. Hmm. And what's the name again on it? Thomas what? Thomas. The train engine uh, and friends. Oh, flowing sort of in O tab. Yeah, Thomas the train engine. We have uh, those for our little daughter on Netflix to listen to. Harmless, you know, kind of upbeat. 
you think that would well, be made in America. Uh, so many things made in China. Uh, and one of the things with the news is that a lot of these toys from China would have mercury and lead, you know, things that kids are going to put right in their mouth. It's like, no, don't do it. It comes from a communist country, honey. Well, <laughs> let's see. I'm going to I'm going to say. Uh, now, if I'm wrong, don't tell me what country it is made in right off the bat. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and say that this item is made in China. Well, you are two for two. The communists win again, Dr. Paul. <laughs> and, I, you know, it's sad. It's sad that that's the case, but uh, um, we're going to go with number two. All right, Jeremy, take off and find another spot within our Salina, Kansas, Walmart. Our Is It Made in America product pool now. We're going to item number three. The first two items were made in China. Let me tell you about another sponsor while Jeremy makes his way to a new location. The Kansas State Rifle Association. The more and more things are made in China, the more and more you want to make sure that you're defending your Second Amendment rights, not only here in America, but here in the state of Kansas. The Kansas State Rifle Association, you can find them online at www.ksraweb.com. These folks fight for your Second Amendment rights day in and day out. Somebody's got to do it. These guys do great work. I support them. I'm a member. I'm a member. If you're not one here in the state of Kansas, you need to get your membership online. Tell them that you heard about them on the Conscience of Kansas Radio Show. Very affordable to get your membership, and that money goes to fighting for your Second Amendment rights. All right, Mr. Jeremy out there, our adventure at the Salina Walmart. Go ahead and stop and tell folks what aisle of Walmart that you're in right now. I am now have gone from the toys aisle to just an everyday Kind of, uh, you'd find all these products at your typical grocery store. You'd find them at your typical drugstore. These are just everyday uh, sunscreen, um, Q-tips, lotion kind of aisle. Okay. And uh, grab grab a random uh, item off of the stack and uh, tell us what it is. All righty. I found some sunscreen. It is Copper Tone Sport Sunscreen. Copper tone. Oh, my goodness. Doesn't that sound like America there? Copper tone, the little baby, the little young girl with the little white buttocks. Uh, they used to have the the uh, commercials back in the 70s. Well, this one's copper tone sunscreen is a little tricky for me. So I'm going to use a lifeline, and I'm going to call a, 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 what a sports guru that we have here for Rocking M Radio. Let me see if I can get his... Um, get his number on here. Let's see if we can't get a hold of him. It's ringing. It's ringing right now. Yes, uh, James Wesseling. Hey, you're live on the Conscience of Candace radio program. I have a big question for you. I need to tap your mind. Uh, we're doing the Walmart um, Is It Made in America product pool, and we've got some copper tone sunscreen that Jeremy's pulled off the aisle, and we need to know if it's made in America or not, and if not, what country is it made in? Copper tone sunscreen, you know, just like you'd have the beach uh, with the Beach Boys playing what do you think? Do you think it's made in America, or do you think it's made somewhere else? <laughs> you believe. James Wesley, sports guru over here in Salina, Kansas, uh, believes that the copper tone sunscreen is made in China. So basically what you're saying is we spread communism across our entire body to lay out in leisure. Are, are you, you're hundred percent confident in that. Wow. 80% confident or more. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, We'll let you know what happens here in a little bit. We'll, I'll give you a buzz back. Thanks a lot, James. I appreciate it. All right, of course. All right, bye. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I don't know if you heard that, Jeremy, but uh, James Wesseling believes that <clears throat> this copper tone is made in China. He believes it's made in China. He's 80% <laughs> or better confident that it was made in China as a, a lifelong copper tone user. And that means we just smother communism everywhere. Oh, even in the private, even the private crack sometimes, you know, getting that communism in there. And I hate to say it because I don't want to say it. What I'm going to say is right. I'm going to say copper tone is made in communist China. Well, you know, Dr. Paul, I've been searching this bottle for the better part. Of oh, don't tell me. Two or three minutes. And there is just. You can't find a made in anywhere on this product you're, anywhere. You're killing me. You're killing me now. Now we are supposed to, you're supposed to look and see if you can find that before you give me the deal. That's going to be a, a tremendous docking pay. Do we have another copper tone product over there uh, near it? We are looking. There's a bunch of copper tone. Uh, they they just give me a U.S. patent number or. Uh, Steel box made in a uh, in a uh, Whit- or White House, New Jersey. So um, it doesn't say anything about made in. Um, all the other bottles, you know, they have the same exact uh, seals on them. So well, first let me apologize to the radio public, and then let me apologize <laughs> to everyone that's on YouTube or any other video spot. Let me apologize to planet Earth and aliens that may be circling, getting the radio waves or frequencies. Uh, Mr. Baum was supposed to check that immediately. So if you find a product, you can't find it. But uh, the best we can say on this copper tone is a question mark. Because I'm not giving nothing to the communists without uh, it being verified. You have a patent number that's in the USA. Is that what you're saying? A patent number? Yes, U.S. patent number uh, d 46 5 Okay. Four twelve. Okay. That's, so that's it may it may in fact have been <laughs> created in the United States, even if it's being produced and shipped and packaged in, in another country. So we won't give it to the USA, but it's it's kind of close. All right, go ahead and take off, and we'll learn we'll learn from this uh, situation here. Dr. Grab Dr. Another- Paul, may I say one thing? I think maybe you know the co- communists may just be trying to. Uh, be sneaky now and not uh, put made in directly on just so we don't see uh, where it's made in now. <laughs> I would like That's to believe theory. that, but <laughs> as we as we continue to pull in Walmart, I think you're going to find that they're pretty bold about all the places that they make products. Go to another one. We're going to turn around real quick and make another product pull uh, very quickly. So skitter on to another location. And a copper tone, folks, out there in Radio Land. If you want to give us an email telling us if it's a communist made or made in the USA, you can send an email to ibbotsonusa.com. We have a web form. I will read conclusively from your own research, and we will punish our staff accordingly. All right. Uh, Jeremy, you can stop in another location. Uh, tell folks where you're at. All right. Well, I am in a... Now, uh, another everyday kind of consumer aisle, you have silverware, you have um, water bottles, and you also have a dish, dish, dish cloth, excuse me, and uh, kitchen towels and that sort of thing. Okay, well, grab an item and, and uh, make sure you know where it's made in and tell us about it. Well, I learned from last time. I definitely checked first thing. Uh, there's definitely a made-in on this product. Um, it's, this is a... Mainstay bar mop dishcloth. Mainstay bar mop. Made in China. No, sir. Ooh, ooh. Most of those cloth items are made in China. Okay. Say it again. Say it again. What is the product? This is a Mainstays. That's the name of the brand. Ribbed bar mop dishcloth. And there's uh, six of them in this pack. And... This country surprised me when I looked at it, where oh, it was made in. Don't give me a hint. So you're hinting the radio public because my I would have wanted to say USA out of nostalgia, but I don't think so because of that clue. Is it made in, um, like, Pakistan? Well, there you go. It's actually Pakistan. Bam! It's made in. 
bam. You know, I'm happy to get it right, but I wish it was made in the USA. Um, it's almost like magic, folks, out there. It's almost like magic how I nail these, but um, we learn Pakistan. All right, uh, go to a, uh, a, new, a new spot there. And while Jeremy's going off, we've got, this will be our uh, fifth item we're going to pull out of 10. I bet radio listeners are probably getting smarter as they go for realizing that a lot of stuff is made in China, not everything. And uh, uh, while we do it, we're going to talk about another one of our sponsors in Diamond R Jewelry. You can find them online at diamondkansas.com. They are a wonderful diamond vendor right there in the state of Kansas, right in Hayes, Kansas. They are the vendor of the Bull of a Watch. Absolutely. If you want the most accurate watch in the world, I carry it because I'm high scale. I'm top drawer. And when I look at my timepiece to see what time it is, I want to know what time it actually is. These are the most accurate watches in the world. They are amazing uh, to read the descriptions on them. They're a great talking point when you go to visit people. Diamond R Jewelry gave me a great deal on it. You can trust them. They are big on quality before and after the sale. Check them out online at diamondkansas.com. All right, Jeremy, where are you at? Oh, I am determined to find you a product a product that's made in uh, the USA. So I have gone to the hunting aisle oh. in Walmart. Yeah, that's American. Very American. <laughs> And uh, grab us a grab a, grab us a random I- item. Make sure you know where it's made, and then describe it. All right. Well, I came up across a three D blind fabric. Um, this is kind of a stand that you set up. You'd be hunting in the woods, and you set it up. And I guess I'm I'm not a big hunter, but uh, you would hide behind it, and it's camouflage. It uh, looks like there's a bunch of just on the front picture, there's a, a bunch of tree limbs that are painted on it. And uh, as I said before, it's camouflage. So one would believe this seems to be oh, no, don't, American. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> what's the brand name? Who made it? This is, sorry, one second here. This is uh, Allen. Allen. Is the brand. And what's it called, like a, a deer stand or a hunting stand? 3D Blind Fabric. Oh, uh, 3D Blind Fabric. Okay. Okay. I'm going to say, dang it, I, 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 I just, the brand name doesn't jump out at me as American made. It could be, but uh, I'm, I'm going to say made in China. You're right. Yeah. It is made in China. Yeah, they make a lot of those uh, material products, um, even though, uh, and they make so many things, and this is what I think is educational for people, they make so many things that you might assume are a part of Americana that we would just make naturally, and in fact, if you go historically, and take off take off to a new location, Jeremy, if you go back historically, you find that we did make these things, and not only did we make them here in America, we made the best quality. And so if you wanted quality, if you're going back to the 40s or the 50s, well, you bought it in America. And if you wanted the highest uh, technological level, the newest stuff, but that's not the case here now. And so we've got three, we've, we've picked five items and we're halfway there and we're going to move through so we can be done here before too long. But uh, we have had three in China. We've had one from Pakistan, and we've had one unknown, the copper tone, that maybe America, maybe not. Maybe radio listeners will help us out. Jeremy, where are you at right now? I have not now gone uh, kind of back to an everyday type aisle. We are in a home and office aisle in the Walmart. Okay, grab us an item. All righty. Well, Paul, I have grabbed... Um, this is something that your kids may be using now that school's back in session. This is a an uh, expanding file, uh, kind of a trapper keeper. Trapper thing. keeper, yeah. For your office too. Oh yeah, keep all your stuff organized. Uh, know where it's at. What's the brand name? This brand name is. Uh, let me find it here. There's not a lot. There's uh, the brand name actually. 
does not uh, kind of pop out at you, <laughs> uh, which is uh, surprising. Um, yeah. There's okay. I found the one right next to it, which okay. has uh, the same country. Um, it is Vivian Grace. Vivian oh, yeah. Grace. It, this is a little more. Uh, it, it appears to be uh, um, towards the woman, the women in the audience. Right. Well, you never know. Sometimes it's obvious if it's made in China. Sometimes it's, you know, or something like that. But um, Vivian Grace, Trapper Keeper. I'm going to say this is made in China. You're right, Paul. We yeah. are... Uh... Running out of materials here fast. It's crazy. We're at number six. Take off to another location. And uh, let me tell you about another great sponsor that we have. We, we have so many wonderful sponsors for the Conscious of Kansas Radio Show. And we really you know, appreciate them all. Joe Bob Outfitters want to make sure we cover them. They're a title sponsor for the show. They are a premier outlet for guns, ammo, and ammo accessories, JoeBobOutfitters.com. You can find them right there in Hayes, Kansas. They ship weapons all over Kansas, all over the country, a major shipper, and they are a veteran-owned business. They have a law enforcement discount. They have a little bit of everything. We love them and love to have them as a title sponsor. Find them at JoeBobOutfitters.com. And, Jeremy, where are we at right now? I think we're looking at item number seven. Where, All right. where are you at? We are at um, just kind of a, a fabrics aisle. Um, I saw some blankets hanging up at the front of it. And, uh, Dr. Paul, being as you and I are, we are both uh, K-State grads. Uh, this mm-hmm. is a K-State blanket. So, surely... This is uh, an American-made product, wouldn't you think, Dr. Paul? Purple Pride. Purple Pride. These colors don't run, or do they? Um, is, there a, is there a brand name to this? Um, there is not one immediately known. Okay. The thing that's on the, uh, on the uh, little seal on the blanket, it, is, it just says Kansas State Wildcats 50 by 60 Silk Touch throw blank <laughs> and there's a little feel me sign on it and it is really really soft dr paul is there a picture of chairman mao somewhere on <laughs> on the item itself uh there is none okay uh, it wouldn't be like a maybe a picture of michael moore or anything if there's not because you know those are those are telltale signs oh do i do i answer with the heart or do i answer i think it's time to do another lifeline we're going to call um, Todd Senecal, who uh, is really good at weeding out not only K-State memorabilia, but occasionally the um, oh the hidden communist K-State memorabilia. I'm going to make a phone call, see if I can get him on the line. We'll ask him. Hey, Todd, uh, I got a question for you. We're doing the Walmart product pool, Is It Made in America? And we've got a K-State towel that we're wondering if it's made in America, is it made in another country, and what country that might be made in. And I thought I would ask you, you know, a lot about uh, sports, uh, you know, a a little bit about K-State, and your growing knowledge of communism. I thought it might come together. What would you guess? Wow. All right, Todd, we're going to find out. We'll, I'll give you a buzz back. Thank you. Well, Jeremy, Todd did not hesitate at all. It kind of breaks my heart, but and Todd's always breaking my heart. But um, he says he thinks it's made in China. We're going to go with China. Well, Dr. Paul, uh, Todd is right as well. There's, uh, I- I'm telling you, I'm having a tough time finding products that uh, aren't made in China. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we can't, you can't trick us. You know, and that's, that's wildcat communism. And that really hurts me deep inside. All right, uh, take off to the next area. Let's uh, give an update real quickly to our radio listeners. We have pulled 
seven. We're getting ready to pull the last three items. Is that right? Uh, yes. We had five items already in Walmart that were made in China. We had one made in Pakistan, and we had copper tone lotion that was unknown. We couldn't find a maker brand on it, and uh, we're going to try to figure that out afterwards. And uh, some folks will say, oh, you're just trying to diss Walmart? You just hate Walmart, boy? No, no, don't get that idea. We love Walmart. I love Walmart. Walmart, to me, is an example of capitalism at its best. I love, this is the little guy makes good story with Walmart. So we're not trying to make fun of Walmart. We're not trying to disparage Walmart. What we are doing is educating you out there in Radio Land on where the products you buy come from. You can make the decision whether or not you want to buy more Made in America products or even ask Walmart to buy more. But it's good to know where these products are coming from. It didn't used to be this way. We used to buy a bulk of our stuff from Korea. We were trying to help them or Taiwan or Japan. You may, if you're a little bit older, remember those items being uh, on the little tabs on just about everything. With well, a lot of those trade agreements have gone away since then. So, all right, uh, Jeremy, where are you at right now? Well, Dr. Paul, I have uh, made my way uh, to kind of a dangerous aisle again. I have found what I know is a company that is based in uh, the United States, Russell Athletic, and they, I'm in the clothing aisle, actually, and I found some Russell Athletic uh, sporting socks. And you would, uh, Russell Athletic, I know they're... Like uh, ball they're gloves. Don't they do baseball gloves? In, uh, and Georgia. Yes. Mm -hmm. So a southern company, you would think that they are American-made. <laughs> Don't lead us. Do not lead <laughs> radio listeners because um, I kind of believe that most radio listeners are probably pretty close on this. You can always send us emails at ibitsinusa.com to say, wow, I was totally shocked, or I knew it, I knew it. So Russell Athletic Socks, are they made here? Or are they made in China? Russell Athletic Socks, you know, baseball, uh, apple pie. Come on. That's that's all America, right? <sighs> I want to be wrong. I want I want to be wrong. And I'm prepared to be. Is it made in China? That is in China. Yeah. That that a little a little part of me died inside right there. Just a little part of me. The the part of me that, that loved that mid eighties Kansas City Royals national championship. And uh, that died. That little boy in me died. But go ahead and go to the next spot. We've got two more to pick. We're going to pick them really fast. Our time is uh, running out on our Is It Made in America Walmart product pool. Hope you've been enjoying it. We certainly have as we learn where are the products we buy right here in the state of Kansas, baby, right here in Salina, Kansas. Um, where are they made at? All right, Jeremy, uh, where are you at now? I am in now the food aisle. And I have a uh, Dole Mandarin Orange uh, can of uh, Mandarin Oranges. Oh, man. Oh, Mandarin Oranges. Uh, okay. I'm going to say it's, it's not made in China. Just say if I'm right that it's not made in China. You are wrong. <laughs> oh, son of a... Well, well... Okay, even what goes inside of you comes from the communists. And um, all right, go to our last item. Go deep. Take it deep. Go along for the big Hail Mary. Uh, we've got uh, not a lot of time here, but time is running out on us. A Mandarin oranges. Now, I thought maybe a southeastern Asian, you know, the Philippines or or some other jungle area. Every once in a while, you get surprised. It's made in Florida. Hey, look at the Florida apples, those Florida oranges. And uh, we get a product probably picked by illegal aliens. But no, no, it, it's commie fruit. It's commie fruit. All right, Jeremy, uh, where are you now in the Salina Walmart store? All right, I've gone to uh, um, some food items that you use to uh, eat on. These are uh, paper plates, or excuse me, uh, uh, styrofoam plates uh, made by Hefty, e extra strong. Hefty, styrofoam plates. <sighs> All right. 
Are they made in China? No. Okay. All right. They're not made in China. Hefty. Well, are, are they made in the United States? Paul, on the last product, we finally found one. It says, uh, product made in the USA. Nice, bright steel seal on the back of the pack. <laughs> God bless America. <laughs> oh, man. Well, you know, that's a saving grace. Uh, who would have known? I played the odds there. The odds were that out of our 10 items on our product pool, our random product pool, one was made in the United States definitively. The copper tone was unknown. We had the bulk. That was seven of the 10 items made in China, one made in Pakistan. Uh, just to sell to some of the infidels over here in America. And uh, thank you, Jeremy Bone, for traipsing across our Walmart. We'll be bringing you the fourth annual Walmart Is It Made in America product pool down the road someday, and you'll be wiser when you go to shop. And thank you all for listening. For Dr. Paul A. Ibbotson and Jeremy Mo Bone, we'll be talking to you soon. All right, Jeremy, you did a good job. Uh, thank you very much, man. Yeah, thanks, Paul. All right, bye-bye.